welcome to another Iron Man episode, in which case this video has a lot of progress, not necessarily upgrades, just there was a lot of time wasted for grinds, in which case I did buy and collect 70,000 weak ectoplasm, which you are able to do rituals, convert the weak into lesser, and then those lesser into graders, in which case you're able to make the greater basic ghostly inks. And woof, this took me probably about 11 hours to do all of it, in which case I did get nearly 50,000. I will be making half ghostly ink and half greater. And then I decided to do a farm run at POF because I did need the spring sheep wool for the enclosed cloth, which is needed to make the items from tier 60 to 70. Then after that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a herb run and the more chili mushrooms, in which case, you know what? I actually found a kingly impling that is extremely rare. Did the king black dragon rampage use the XP lamp on necromancy? And I believe right here, I should have gotten 77 or 78 necromancy as these are actually pretty good experience as most events give you combat XP. Then after that time to make all of the ghostly ink but for whatever reason i couldn't have sworn these were ashes i mean they look like ashes but when i actually went and hover it it was soda ash which was a bit awkward i believe that was when i was making molten glass for players that are new and do not know how to get ashes you'll actually want to go north of the edgeville bank into the wilderness which is completely safe Granted, you have disabled the PvP, and we'll be killing the monsters within the Abyss, and every single one has a 100% drop rate for dropping ashes. But I highly recommend players to have the Tome of Um 1, which is just the City of Um easy achievement diary, which you should easily be able to get, and when you pick up any type of ashes, they will automatically be sent to your bank. Now, if you do not have this item, you will actually need a Grace of the Elves, enable it, and then one ash per one charge. As for the XP rates per hour, I was doing this with melee because at the time my weapons were level 40, in which case I just wanted speed to kill these bad boys. I was averaging about 1,000 pure essence noted and 480,000 comex runs per hour with having either a Dragon Rider Lance, or a Noxious Scythe, along with about, on average, 2,200 Ashes, which in my opinion was very, very quick. As for the action bar, it will be on screen now, so if players want, they are able to copy it. Just remember, if you do not have unlimited prayer, it will help to use the Vampirism Aura, so that will completely sustain you without you having to pay attention. The only annoying thing is that every 10 minutes you will have to run north and then back south to aggro the abyss creatures, then you're able to just AFK. I did this for almost 4 hours, granted I did AFK a lot, and I did miss probably about 10-15 minutes worth, in which case afterwards I made a ton of greater ghostly ink, I believe about 500 of these, which did take a long, long time. But that is the glory of being a YouTuber. I'm able to pretty much skip one, two hours worth in a couple of seconds. Once I made the 500 greater ink, decided to make some greater candles since you're able to make one to one ratio. And then someone's like, hey, there's a ghostly impling on this world. I'm like, oh, thanks. And he's like, there's another one, but it's on world two where I was lagging a ton but luckily i was able to get it i will be collecting these ghostly implings i will try to get a full inventory and then i was like hmm what should i do next after this and i did the vessel of the harbinger quest and then there was one long long grind i decided to do and that was yes to collect souls although granted i have a high necromancy I barely did any soul collecting as I think I got like 
half a million experience just doing ectoplasm to make the ink. And then luckily I was able to have a lot of bones in my bank, which I added to the storage. Now, when I was doing this, someone's like, hey, you need this amulet. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, oh, but this amulet is quest lot, which case I had to do the housing of the parliament, which gives you a granted of one moonstone. And the XP did end up giving me 80 necromancy. So that was a win-win in both cases. After the quest, players will need to speak to the ghost master crafter, but you will need to have a brown apron. In which case, he will teach you how to make the moonstone jewelry. And as an iron count, since you will be doing a lot of rituals, you want to make the necklace as it increases your production of the automation glyphs by 20%. In which case, I went back to rituals for the souls, the ectoplasm, as it is a painful grind. You have to do this so much. I ran out of ink, so when I did it, I was like, hey, I actually got a 83 necromancy right off the bat from that. Went back again, got 84 necromancy. While I was doing this, I got super lucky. In fact, I got the uncut moonstone, which is extremely rare. So now I have two out of four moonstones required for all of the items. After about four days worth, had enough souls, so I unlocked everything in the shop that I was able to, but I accidentally unlocked the wrong upgrade as I was supposed to unlock the zombie, in which case I was like, wait a minute, I have to collect souls again. By completing this, completed every single wilderness flash event that there was so that my booty sword would have that teleport instead of having to run there before it even starts. Got lucky again at Yakamaru at three kill count, in which case I got a Mazcab Codex, which I might be using that for magic for the corruption blast ability as my magic is pretty good compared to my range. Decided to go back to the abyss with all my improvements to necromancy abilities and the ones I did unlock. Now, if you are curious, this is actually the action bar I used and you are able to stay here forever without using any type of aura. Although the XP rate, keep in mind, this is with tier 50 weapons. I was getting 265,000 necromancy experience an hour. When players are wanting to upgrade their armor and weapon from tier 50 all the way up to tier 70, you will need to do the insold material, which does require 19 insold bars, 38 cloth, which you're able to get from using mystic armor, which is viable from the champions guild and the magic guild. You have been doing your player on farms to get the seasonal sheep as that is a little bit time gated, but hopefully you are able to get all of those wool and then convert them into the thread. Once you have all of the items, you can either take all from the storage chest or bank everything. And yes, I am proud to say that Moonstone is going to help a lot for room crafting. You will also need to make a lot of runes, pretty much one trip per altar, so that you have just enough to make all of the armor and weapon upgrades that you do have. Players will need to do the Kilo Row task in which case you have to fill up some type of urn and then as a little side note you will not be able to make the tier 70 armor and weapons until you have completed the quest spirit of war so you are pretty much locked up until 60. afterwards you will have to do that quest that does gain you access to her mod which you will have to camp a lot for those harmonic plates a little fun fact if players complete the medium Achievement Diaries for the City of Am. Um, not only will you get a 10,000 XP lamp, but you will have access to unlimited teleports to Smithy, which will be very beneficial while you are doing room crafting, as that is a very close bank, but you will also get 5% additional XP runes. Now, I am a maxed player, in which case I disabled all my combat challenges except combat, so that I'm able to focus on necromancy, which is a daily thing or i try to do in which case i'm able to get about 65k xp 
for probably about five minutes of logging in. Now, I was doing the Spirit of War, and I was like, whoa, I got a ghostly infling jar. So, speaking to Austin as he requires the ghostly infling jar for 25 souls. I was like, oh, okay, that's perfect. And then when I was heading to Karen on the dock, I found another ghostly imp. This one pretty much ran away from me at all costs. And you know what? While I was mid quest, I found another ghostly imp. So in the span of about five minutes, I found three ghostly implings, which I did find very interesting. And it's going to help for my loot from 28 implings, although that might take a while. And then at the end of the Spirit of War, we do fight Hermod, the Spirit of War, which he's actually very easy. But that is because during the quest, I believe he has either 55% damage reduction or 65% damage reduction towards the players. In which case, I was able to melt through him completely. I had overloads. I forgot to use them. I had prayer. I forgot to use the prayer. I had food. I did not even need the food. So, he was so easy. But then again, I did have the Amulet of South, which did increase my damage by 15%. Although granted, you would want to normally use some aura overloads and stuff. And then this quest unlocks the boss, which you are able to kill repeatedly for the harmonic plates, which does upgrade your DPS armor route from tier 70, 80, and 90. And then to upgrade your armor, since it was quest locked behind that, you will now need to make a fish pie which is going to be very hard. Now, if you're an iron account, this would be fairly easy as you will need a cooked trout, a cook cod, which you are able to get from big net fishing, and then a raw potato. You want to use the trout on a pastry dish and then use the raw cod on it, use the raw potato on it, and hopefully you do not burn it, in which case this is why I was getting two just in case I did get the off chance of burning it. The combat portion for the tier 70 you will have to be doing barrels in which case you will need to bring your own greater ectoplasm when you defeat the barrels brother you will need to use the ectoplasm on their sarcophagus and you want to do that for all six barrels but keep in mind one of them will be in the tunnel you want to teleport out and run back in and then just use the Iron Heart Sarcophagus. Then, once you have all six souls, you're able to claim the chest, open it, and you will get the combined, which requires all of the six. The other portion of the achievements would have to be to kill a hundred dragons, which is as easily doable underneath the Taverly Blue Dragons, and you want to kill everything. These spawn extremely quick, and they have very low health, and you have to kill these a total of 100 times. Make sure to bring your Tome of Um, in which case it will automatically bank the baby dragon bones just for some additional prayer experience. Then you want to talk to Akila, give her the fish pie, and both of the items you were able to get, thanks to the iron filling up, which she will now teach you how to make the tier 70 tank armor then you will need to get i believe eight bars and weapons along with a hundred bone runes in which case remember you will need to make impure runes and this will make the tier 70 weapons which yes you are able to augment and when you do augment don't worry you're able to upgrade them to tier 80 without removing the augmentation so you can put whatever best in slot perks you want. As for the armor, you will need a greater thread and the greater cloth along with a hundred blood runes. Actually, those might be flesh runes now that I think about it. Each piece of the armor gives plus 2% dodge chance, which could be very helpful for PVM. But more importantly, you get a nice health bonus boost for every piece 
in which case you should bonfire and spawn with this. And of course, some type of shield, so you get extra bonus from bonfiring. Thank you all so much for watching this and enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment down below any video suggestions or questions you have, and I will try to answer them. And enjoy the rest of your day.